uh, hello so if you are planning to work with the oracle uh, virtual box to create a virtual machine in your local system so for that we need the two software to be installed in our local machine so the first software is that we we, we got from this oracle that we called as the virtual box and the second is that windows iso file so you can uh, select your windows as per your interest windows 7 window 8 window 10 iso file and you can download from the google so to download that virtual oracle virtual box you just go to the google and you just type oracle vm and the first link will come virtual box okay after that once you type this oracle vm virtual box after that you you go to the second link and click on it once you are on this page then you go down and here you can see the platform and it's according to your operating system so uh, what is the bit size for your local machine operating system according to that you just download anyway this uh, vm box will work for both 32 bit and 64 bit so you no need to worry about these things you just click on the windows installer and it when you click on the save file it will start downloading the virtual vm box okay so i have already downloaded this virtual vm box this is the virtual vm box so once you have downloaded the virtual vm box you have to install this one so you just go to the downloads folder double click and click next i have already installed the oracle vm virtual box setup in my machine so if i uh, if i want to repair or remove so it's very simple you just uh, click next next and the software will be installed in your machine once you install this oracle uh, vm machine you will get uh, the uh, shortcut on your desktop this oracle vm machine okay now next thing is that once you have downloaded this virtual box after that you need one uh, windows iso file anyway the windows iso file always required the product key but we have some site form we can freely download the windows iso file so for that you just go to google and type ISO file download. So uh, you once you when you will uh, after typing these things you will get the uh, one site link that we call softlay.net. So you just click on this link and you come down here you can see that this is the download windows 7 ultimate 64 bit tv.iso file so you click on this link it will start downloading the windows iso file in your local system please wait for some time and right so you will see this ISO file is going to download so just click on save and click on ok so the ISO file will be start downloading in your local machine I have already downloaded that ISO file in my system this is the uh, windows 7 ultimate fax this is the ISO file I already have so you, I will use this ISO file uh, my oracle virtual box to create a virtual machine with the windows 7 operating system in my local system in my local machine i have window 10 
in my local system i have window 10 so once you have downloaded the oracle virtual box on the windows 7 then now we will install this windows 7 iso file uh, we uh, sorry we will configure this windows iso file in our virtual box so for that what you need to do you just go to this ins already installed oracle vm box icon and you just double click on it after that you can see the first uh, first window like that oracle virtual box manager in that you you will get uh, three things uh, first thing when you uh, first time you are doing then the, the, that time you you will get new and the settings so you just click on new here it will ask you the windows operating system so if you have downloaded the windows 7 you just type windows 7 if you have downloaded windows 8 just type windows 8 according to this it will automatically pick the window a version number right so i have downloaded the windows 7 iso file so i will type windows 7 and i already have uh, that with this name windows 7 one already machine i have so here i will type some another and after that you just click on next so here you can select your memory size uh, it's up to you uh, how much memory you want to use at your virtualized memory right so uh, in my system i have 4 gb ram so i want to give the 2 gb ram as a, a virtual memory anyway don't worry it will not slow down your local machine your local machine will be uh, same as you are using previously right after that you just click on next now here in the hard disk now we want to create that virtual hard disk so it's saying the recommended size of hard disk is 25 gb obviously to install the operating systems we need a hard disk space in my local machines i have that uh, windows drive c there i'm going to install the my operating system but initially if you don't have any uh, VDI file that time if you and if first time if you are going to uh, create the virtual machine with the ISO file then I recommend it to you select this uh, create a virtual hard disk now now click on it and in the next window you will get hard disk file type in the hard disk file type you will get three options so here i am going to use this vdi because i want to create virtual box this image you select this option and click on next storage on the physical hard disk window you will get dynamically allocated or fixed size so select dynamically allocated select next now here how much uh, hard disk I, you want in your virtual machine so it's up to you you can select up to you how much hard disk you have in local machine according to that you can select uh, this is as per your requirement they, this will not uh, affect your local machine hard disk right so once you have the hard disk you just click on the create it will create one virtual uh, uh, it will create one virtual machine with the name of and here you can see the information name this windows 764 bit memory 2 gb and storage you are saying that this is a 200 gb so you will get all the information regarding to your virtual machine now what is the next step next step you just select this one you can select this one click on start after that you can see that one uh, machine is going to added in this uh, list so it will be highlighted windows 7 operating system select this one whatever you have added the Oracle virtual, virtual machine click on next 
so when you click on the uh, start sorry you have to click on the start so when you click on the start it will start what 